Hello YouTube, so check it out. As many of you already know, we traded in our last gas guzzling vehicle just a couple of weeks ago. And we are now proud owners of not just one, but two fully electric vehicles. That's right folks, for those of you who don't know, both of these vehicles are 100% electric. So no more gas for us. <laughs> Now before I get too far into this video, I would just like to mention that if you haven't done so already, please click on that subscribe button below. By subscribing to my channel, you're helping me to promote these videos and spread the word about electric cars. So thank you all for your support, and now on to the video. So my wife and I have been looking into the possibility of becoming a two-car, all-electric car household for a couple of months now. I honestly didn't think it was going to happen because when I first brought up the idea to her shortly after acquiring my car, the Nissan Leaf, she still wasn't convinced that an electric car would be right for her. As time went on and we were taking more and more trips in my car over hers, she started to warm up to the idea, but the number one thing that was still holding her back was the range. Even though I was able to prove to her that range really wasn't that big of a deal, she still didn't want a car that could only do 100 miles or so on a single charge. She once mentioned to me that she wouldn't mind the Bolt EV, or even a Tesla Model X, but both of those cars were still out of our price range, one more so than the other. You may recall in a previous video of mine the reasons why I went with the Nissan Leaf over the Bolt EV, and at the time those reasons held true. But as we were approaching the end of the lease, on my wife's vehicle, it was time that we took a serious look in the land of EVs once more. Not knowing that there were any deals to be had on the Bolt EV, we started leading towards the all new 2018 Nissan Leaf. As seen here in this video when we took one out for a test drive, the 150 mile range that the 2018 Leaf has to offer falls more into my wife's acceptable range requirements for an all electric car. My only worry is that, at least with a gas car, you can pull over anywhere and get gas. And here in Maine, we don't have that luxury with electric cars. There's not charging places everywhere, so that's a little frustrating. So you just have to plan your trip a little better and know where your charging points are, so that way you can plan that trip. But right. that's my only... But, I mean, but 150 with... miles is doable for most places I go here in Maine. So now that my wife was on board with getting an electric car, I needed to find out what kind of lease deals were being offered on the 2018 Nissan Leaf. The whole reason why I was looking at leasing versus buying in the first place was because at least with Nissan, when you lease an electric vehicle through them, they'll include the full federal tax credit plus whatever other rebates or incentives they have going on at the time into their lease payments. This drops the overall price of the vehicle way down and it was the number one reason why I went with the 2017 LEAF over the Bolt EV last year. However, this time around, while I was searching for lease deals on the Nissan LEAF, I just happened to stumble across this awesome deal on the Bolt EV. When compared to the base model LEAF, after you add in the quick charge package, as well as the all-weather package, the two cars came in right around the same price. There were also a few things that I didn't quite care for in the redesigned LEAF, I missed having the digital speedometer, you know, dead at the center, but there's a way, and I haven't found it yet, but there is a way to get a digital speedometer down there, but I just haven't figured it out. But they put the cup holders here and the shifter there, where in the previous version the shifter was here, the cup holders were here, and they were left and right instead of up and down. I don't know if I really like that too much. So it didn't make sense anymore to go with the 40 kilowatt hour leaf, when we could land such a great deal on the 60 kilowatt hour Bolt EV. And that's pretty much what we did. We ended up buying a Chevrolet Bolt EV at a price point that's on par with the Nissan LEAF. And because we decided to buy this time versus leasing, we're also eligible for the federal tax credit, which we can claim at the end of the year on our taxes. In the videos to come, I'll be doing some comparisons between the two vehicles, and I'll also go over some of the cool features that the Bolt EV has to offer over the leaf. Stay tuned for our long distance road trip that we'll be taking with the Bolt in about a month or so. I'll also be posting a one year review of the leaf in the month of July. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please share this video with your friends and family. Feel free to leave a comment below and until next time, thanks for watching.